Hello, we love you. We care about you. You're in our prayers. Wherever you are, whatever time you find this, we invite you not only to watch and to listen, but to join with us in worship and prayer, in learning, in praise, and in joy. Our theme for this week is happy and blessed. We hope that you are happy and blessed as you come into this Sunday. Each Sunday we gather at the church at 1030. Anyone who wants to come is welcome to do so. Please still bring masks. They are very important. And please be careful out there in the world. If you'd like to join us by Zoom, look for the link in the email that comes with this video. We also will be gathering for our Zoom fellowship this afternoon at 2.30. And we may end a little bit early because of the Super Bowl, but we will be there. And if you'd like to be there, you're welcome. If you'd like to take in more of the pregame Super Bowl activities on TV, we will understand that as well. On Tuesday night, the church council will be meeting in the conference room in person at seven o'clock. On Wednesday night, the geopolitics group will be taking on another of the great decisions topics. This time it's Myanmar. If you're interested in the great decisions, please let me know and I'll send you a link. We still meet by Zoom. I'd like to begin today with our call to worship, which is selected and adapted from Psalm 1, 1 through 3. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked. Happy are those who do not take the path that sinners tread. Happy are those who do not sit in the seat of scoffers. Their delight is in the law of the Lord. On God's law they meditate day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water. They are like trees which yield their fruit in due season. Their leaves do not wither. In all that they do, they prosper. And from Jeremiah 17, verses 7 through 8. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. Let us pray. O loving God, we thank you that you invite us to be like a tree planted by the water. We thank you that you invite us to meditate on your law, on your way of doing things, on what you are doing in the world. We thank you that you invite us to trust in you and to let you be that in which we trust. We come to you as your people. We pray for family and friends, members of the church. We give thanks and praise for Dee Adamson on the week of her 100th birthday. Thank you, Lord, for the many years that she has had of life and love. We pray for those who are sick and hurting. We pray for those who are in need. Help us to understand the ways in which they are blessed also. May we learn from them, even as we care for them. We pray for those who have COVID and those who care for them. We pray for doctors and nurses and staff in overcrowded hospitals. We pray for people still working in places where they could be exposed. We thank you for the vaccines and that so many people are protected. Be with those who aren't. We pray for people in parts of the world where there is war, where there is famine, where there is economic depression, where there is political and economic injustice. We pray that you may examine our hearts and help us to understand and help us to be a part of making a better world. We pray for those who grieve be with them in their hardest hours. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive those who sin against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Last week and this week and for a few weeks to come, I'd like to share with you a scripture for meditation. This week it's from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 19 through 28. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are all people most to be pitied. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have died. For since death came through a human being, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a human being. For as all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ. But each in his own order, Christ, the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end when he hands over the kingdom of God to the Father after he has destroyed every ruler and every authority and power. For Christ must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. For God has put all things in subjection under his feet. But when it says, all things are put in subjection, it is plain that this does not include the one who put all things in subjection under him. When all things are subjected to him, then the Son himself will also be subjected to the one who put all things in subjection under him, so that God may be all in all. May God be all in all for us as well. Please watch for the other video.